Hey, what's going on? I'm Stevie T, and some of you may recall that I already did a how to sweep pick video in the past. However, I did that video back in like 1953. This was fun. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> that was some primitive stuff, man. So I think it's time to bring the sweep picking tutorial to the current century. This time, I'm not only going to teach you guys how to sweep pick, but I'm going to teach you guys in form of a song. Two birds, one stone. Bam! So here is the song that you guys are going to learn. That's right, if you guys stick to it, you guys will be playing that song. Women will be coming up to you like, ooh, kiss me. And um, if you guys follow my link in the description, you can get a seven day free trial with Musician and search for Stevie T or Arpeggio Workout because that's what our little sweet pick tunage is called. And you can play along with my tab. And I'm sure a lot of you have seen Musician's ads before YouTube videos, but they are gonna help enormously for learning this song. So let's get to it. <laughs> Well, here I am. Bet you guys would never see me from this angle, huh? Mm. All right, I'm gonna try this angle because this is the angle that you can see on your guitar. This is looking through your eyes. Now, sweet picking is totally different than your regular picking. Instead, what we wanna do is glide our pick fluently up or down the strings. So instead of this, we want this. Your pick is just gonna fluently fall into the next string. So to kind of get used to that, just mute your strings and practice that. All right. All right, so the first pattern of our little sweepy sweepy song starts off with our pinky on the 14th fret of the E. And we're gonna upstroke that. And then we're gonna pull off onto the 10th fret of the E, like a doorbell. Ding dong. Would someone answer the damn door? So the next note is with our second finger, the FU finger, on the 12th fret of the B. We're gonna upstroke that. And next note is the 11th fret on the G string. And this is the top note of our sweep, so we're gonna downstroke that one, and then just go back the way we came. But now we're gonna downstroke, downstroke, and repeat. So the picking pattern goes like this. Up, pull off, up, down, 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 up, pull off, up, down, down, down. It's like a dance. Up, pull off, up, down, 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 up, pull off, up, down, 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 or something, I don't know. And pattern number two uses the exact same fingers, but this time we're doing frets 12 on the E, up stroke, pull off on the ninth fret of the E with your first finger, up stroke the 10th note of the B string with your second finger, and then at the same time, moving your first finger onto the ninth fret of the G, and back down. Still using that up, pull off, up, down, 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 up, pull off, up, down, down, down. So why don't we play along with the tab on Musician at 25% speed, so nice and slow. We'll try these two patterns together. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now, some of you may find that a little too fast at this point, but don't you worry. All you gotta do is bust out a metronome and play it at, say, 50 beats per minute and see if that works for you to help build up your speed. And that goes for every pattern that we learned today. You can always pause the video, set up a metronome, and learn it at your own speed. In fact, I would, I would recommend that. And another very important thing to keep in mind when sweep picking is muting the other strings that you're not playing because they're gonna make string noise unless we keep this area of our palm, the area that we would use for palm muting, we want that to be resting on all the strings that we're not sweep picking on. And sometimes I will even use this part of my thumb very close to the pick to mute a note after I've played it. because sweet picking is all about the cleanliness of each note. Cause cleanliness is godliness. <laughs> okay, 
sorry. But for the most part, just focus on learning these patterns slowly and you will naturally learn to mute the strings in your own, in your own ways. Now we move on to the next position. Position, position. what was that? We now we move on to the next position. Okay, pattern number three is gonna be using the same fingers again, but instead of the pinky, we're gonna use the third finger this time. So the first note is 15th on the E. Pull off on the 12th with our first finger. 14th on the B with our second finger. Then 15th on the G with our third finger. And then back down. Up, pull off, up, down, 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 up, pull off, up, down, down, down. If you've ever heard Ingve Malmsteen play guitar, you have heard this sweeping position. Does it sound familiar? And pattern number four is the exact same pattern as pattern number one. So you can see this is not as complicated as you originally thought. Remember, remember that one? Let's try it to a metronome. One, two, three, one, two, three. So pattern number five is where things get a little bit tricky. We're gonna be using all four fingers and there's gonna be a bit of a stretch. So we have pinky on fret 12 on the E and we're gonna pull off onto the seventh fret of the E. So that'll be a bit tricky at first. Dreadle, dreadle, dreadle. And then with our second finger, we're gonna do the eighth note on the B, third finger, ninth fret on the G, and back down. Okay, pattern number six, we're only using two fingers, fourth and first finger, rock on. So 10th fret on the E, pull off on the seventh with your first finger, and then you're gonna pick the seventh fret of the B, and you're gonna kinda roll your finger onto that one, while lifting off slightly from the previous note to mute it. And then roll your finger onto the seventh fret of the G, and then roll all the way back down. It's like you're doing the worm with your finger. I know it looks intimidating, but with experimentation and practice, you will get it. So let's play patterns five and six together now. One, two, three, one, two, three. All right, pattern seven, we're almost done. So pattern seven is the exact same as pattern number two. You remember this one? Only this time it's going to be played on the ninth fret, pulling off to the sixth on the E, second finger, seventh on the B, and then six on the G, and sweeping back down. And you thought sweep picking was tricky. <laughs> And the final pattern is the trickiest pattern yet because we got a long stretch and we're gonna be using the finger rolling technique again using the second finger this time. Sorry. So we got 14 on the E, pull off on the ninth of the E. And then with our second finger, we're gonna play 11 on the B. And the next note is the 11th on the G. So we're gonna use the rolling technique again, but this time using our second finger and then back down. And then you can end with a nice upstroke on the 12th fret of the B. So let's put pattern seven and eight together, see how they sound. And then that will be a jam. One, two, three, one, two, three. So what do you say we run through this whole thing at 25% speed? We'll piece all the patterns together now.
Okay, so now I'm gonna play along with my tab on Musician at full speed. We'll see how good I can do. Not too shabby. Now once you guys are comfortable with this song, I may have to do a part two teaching some more advanced sweep picking techniques. But that one is for a different day. First thing is first. And remember, follow my link in the description to start a free trial with Musician, and then you can play along with my sweet picking tab. And you can speed it up and slow it down as you see fit. I really hope you'll work at it and be able to play it. It will make me so happy to see some of you playing this. So thanks to Musician, and thanks to you for watching. Have fun sweeping, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Sweepy McSweepersons.